Well, hello and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Uh, we're in the studio today, and um, it's a little bit cool outside, and today is New Year's Day, and I'm recording this video because uh, we've had a, we say in English, we've had a full house for the past several weeks. That means we had a lot of company. That means we had a lot of people uh, visiting and staying with us for the holidays uh, before Christmas for about two weeks and, and New Year's and they all just left today. So it's been a little while. I haven't been able to record uh, videos uh, on track or like I used to but now I will be able to get back on track that means I will be able to get back on schedule or a routine schedule uh, to record videos and upload them so today we have an interesting uh, topic it's a little bit different than the usual topic so before I get into that uh, again if you like these uh, videos one hit the like button to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified when a new video is uploaded and four, tell your friends so that they can uh, benefit from these videos. So today we're going to be talking about a musical instrument and it's a say a stringed instrument so it has strings and it's called a seagull which is the brand name or the mark, the maker of the uh, instrument. The model is called a Merlin and it's called a like a mountain uh, dulcimer guitar. So it, it's uh, inspired by we say the what's an, another instrument called a dulcimer. And I'll have a picture of a dulcimer with uh, maybe a video showing somebody playing a dulcimer. Okay, what are we gonna do Will? Play Angelina Baker. Angelina Baker, okay. I have and I'm going to show you is not a traditional dulcimer but it is inspired by a dulcimer. But a dulcimer is a uh, instrument that has three or four strings and it's an old instrument um, that has been used and played for a long time in the an area on the east uh, side or east coast or east part of the United States called Appalachia. And in Appalachia, it's very famous, they have the Appalachian Mountains, which extend from the southern part of New York State all the way down to the northern part of uh, Alabama, which is another state, and the state of Georgia. And it's used to play typically what is called uh, like old-time music or kind of folk, old-time folk music. And maybe you can also play what's called bluegrass music, which is a, another different style, or we say genre, of music. But usually bluegrass music uh, is popular and known for uh, different types of instruments like the banjo, the guitar, the uh, mandolin, and also the, they call it the fiddle, but the fiddle is just another word for violin. So the bluegrass music has those four instruments and old time music also has like the guitar but uh, the dulcimer is used uh, in old time music. So I'll have a picture of a dulcimer in the video and also I'll see if I can find a, a video of uh, typical or traditional bluegrass style music and I like to play bluegrass music also. Thank you. 
this instrument I have, I play a lot of bluegrass music. And I'm just learning to play this. So the, the oops, sorry, the instrument that I have and want to show you is a uh, kind of shaped more like a small guitar. The dulcimer lays flat, we say horizontal, and you use your fingers like pressing down with a pick and strum the strings this way so it's the dulcimer lays flat like this. So this is, in, this is inspired by the dulcimer because it has a similar sound and similar, we say, tuning, like the, the notes and the strings. Because this also just has, it has four strings, but the top string is tuned to uh, D, the middle string is A, and then on the bottom they have two strings that are very close together and they are tuned to the same note. They are both tuned to D. So, so it's D, A, so the tuning on this instrument is called D, A, D tuning, or dad tuning. And when I strum this uh, motion that I'm doing with my hand or my thumb, my finger, that's called a strum, or I am strumming. So I'm strumming this instrument. So you can strum, and a lot of times um, you can strum using a what we call a pick. A pick, or sometimes people say a plectrum, but typically we say a pick. So I can hold a pick between my fingers, and I can strum and get a louder sound. So this instrument is made uh, by a Canadian company called La Patria, and it is made in uh, Quebec or Quebec, Canada. Like I said, it has four strings, and it is an acoustic instrument. Acoustic. So the definition of acoustic means it's just relating to sound or sense of hearing. But also, more uh, specifically, acoustic means that it doesn't have any electronic ampli amplification. I can't plug it in. So that means it's an acoustic instrument. There's, I cannot use an amplifier or a speaker or anything with this. So this is made of wood. The top is made of spruce, solid spruce, which is a type of wood. The back, so the back, and we say the neck, this part of the instrument here, the long skinny part is the neck, is made out of uh, rock maple. And then to get the strings, so these, each string in the right, we say the right tuning or the right sound, I have to use uh, this device called a tuner, a tuner. So I can tune each string to the right sound or note. So I already went ahead and tuned the instrument. So one thing about a fret instrument, and this uh, instrument, I'll walk closer so you can see, has uh, frets on it. Fret is like this metal, uh, piece of metal that goes down and the strings go over. So to play this instrument, I, I fret. And I press the strings. And this instrument has a kind of a unique sound. We say it has a twang. It's twangy sound. It's, it's not crisp. It sounds kind of like a banjo. I can play chords. So in this instrument, this instru it says that this is an open chord, so I am not using my left hand to make a chord. So when I strum, this is a D chord. I can play a G chord by placing my left fingers here, and I can play an A chord.
So I'm going to play a couple of songs. These are kind of popular, um, say, old-time music songs. And some also they are played in bluegrass. But the first song is called Angeline the Baker, Angeline the Baker. It goes like this. There's another uh, song it's called Whiskey Before Breakfast, and that's pretty popular, and it goes like this. Joe Clark and it goes something like this interesting again this is called a uh, it's not a dulcimer but it's like a dulcimer guitar and like I said I think this only this instrument came out or was made maybe only a year or, or two or so ago by this company called uh, La Patria and I guess they uh, a lot of people like to play the regular dulcimer but um, it can be a little bit awkward to me I've seen it I have a friend that plays it but I was never in interested in trying to play it because the, we would say the fingering or how you have to use and place your fingers is say awkward or to me looks uncomfortable. I'm used to playing the, the guitar and the ukulele. So um, when this, I saw this, I said, well, this seems like um, it would be easier for me to play, but it has the same type of sound. And so I've only had this maybe about a month and I've been uh, kind of, we say, messing around with this. That means I've been just playing it and practicing and uh, just uh, trying to learn and pick up and pick out new songs just by, by ear, by just, I know songs and I see if I can try to uh, play the melody and then I get together with my brother who plays the banjo and I'll uh, upload a video of that or attach the video where he and I uh, recently about a couple days ago met and we played um, Angela and the Baker he played the banjo and I played uh, this instrument
So again, I uh, hope you liked this video, found it interesting. And if you do, or did, uh, hit the like button and subscribe and we'll just bring you more uh, interesting and different types of videos to help you, one, to practice your listening comprehension, also learn about the English language through uh, regular maybe grammar lessons and also uh, real life uh, experiences and cultural uh, things to show you what goes on here in the United States. So uh, again, uh, hit the like button and subscribe and uh, hope you like this episode of Learn Everyday English. And until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.